Hey guys, welcome to Complex Numbers Week 2 Review. Um, I had some technical glitches this week, so I'm back on uh, my tablet. So, we're going to be working on four questions uh, in this session. What I would say is, I'd actually say pause for at the start of each question and try and work it out yourself, and then I will go through the answers. Okay, first question is coming up next. So guys, what I would say is probably pause this question, pause this video right now and try and do this question by yourself. And then I'll actually go through the answers. All right. So I'm assuming you've actually done this question. So what we have is we've got u here as 3 minus 2i. We've got v as 4 plus mi. And when you multiply them together, you get 22 plus 7i. So what I'm going to work out is I'm going to work out u times v. So which means I've got 3 minus 2i multiplied by 4 plus mi and when I expand it like a little quadratic I'm going to end up with 12 plus 3 mi and then I've got minus 8i and then negative 2mi squared okay so what I can do now is I can simplify this uh, because i squared is equal to negative 1 uh, I'm going to put that as negative 1 there as i squared. So I've got 12 plus 3mi minus 8i minus 2m. So negative 2m times negative 1 is positive 2m. So I have get 12 plus 2m plus 3mi minus 8i. So this is what my complex number is. And what I do know is that u times v equals 22 plus 7i which means my real part in this case is 22 and then on the left hand side my real part is 12 plus 2m and as for my imaginary part I've got 3mi minus 8i and on this side I've got 7i so guys it doesn't matter which part you use um, either one you use you're going to end up figuring out what m is so I'm going to use the real part so which means I've got 12 plus 2m equals 22 which means 2m equals to 10 and then m equals 10 divided by 2 which is 5 so that's what m equals to so now that's one way of doing it the other way you could have done it is you could have done it like this where you had 3 minus 2i multiplied by 4 plus mi equals 22 plus 7i but you could have actually done it like this 4 plus mi divided by 22 plus 7i sorry equals 22 plus 7i divided by 3 minus 2i now what you could do is you could actually um, do this the long-winded way which is multiply by the conjugate of the denominator and so on or you could just put 22 plus 7i in the calculator divided by 3 minus 2i and you should get the answer as 4 plus 5i which means once again you can see that m is equal to 5. Cool, that's this question. We go to the next one. All right, so in this question, you're asked to find, oh, as usual, guys, pause, try and do it. Okay, so in this question, you've got plot the complex number p minus 2q in the argon diagram below. So first, we got to work out what p is. So we can see p is right there, which is 2 plus 3i. All right, that's the first step. Uh, as for q, it's negative 2 and negative 2, so we can say it's negative 2 minus 2i. All right, so we are trying to figure out p minus 2q. So what we're going to do is we're going to put down p minus 2q here. All right, so we've got p as 2 plus 3i minus 2 times uh, negative 2 minus 2i. Now guys, really important that you actually put a bracket around Q because um, most people, what they do is they do negative 2 times negative 2 as positive 4 and forget about the negative 2i in the end. So really important, make sure you have a brackets around here. So what you now have is 2 plus 3i plus 4 plus 4i. So this is going to be, when you simplify it, you're going to get 6 plus 7i. I just realized what I made a mistake with. I just realized my grid is actually way too small. Okay, so guys, so 6 plus 7i, 
roughly so let's see that's probably five that's probably six and going up here four five six and seven so I'm gonna say that this is where P minus 2 Q is I guess it would have helped if I had actually done this question before but anyway that's how you do it guys 6 plus 7 I and that's how you do this question all right now on to the next one okay so question 3 we have write this particular complex number in the form of a plus bi so we need to multiply by uh, the conjugate complex number for the denominator so we're gonna have 4 plus 2 I divided by 3 minus I and we got to multiply by 3 plus I and 3 plus I in the numerator so expanding the top the numerator so we got 4 times 3 is 12 4 times I is 4 I uh, 3 times 2 I is 6 I and then we have 2 I times I which is 2 I squared and the whole thing is divided by 3 squared minus I squared so in the numerator I have 12 plus 10 I now I squared is equal to negative 1 I'm just going to do that extra step guys for you 3 squared is 9 9 minus I squared is also equal to negative 1 so in my numerator I have 12 plus 10 I minus 2 divided by 9 negative 9 minus negative 1 equals 10 so we have 10 plus 10 I divided by 10 now remember we want this in a plus b i form so we're going to get 10 over 10 plus 10 i over 10 so our final answer is 1 plus i now in my class i had a student who did this please don't do this they did this 10 and 10 cancel and wrote it as 10 plus i that is incorrect not going to say who it is all right anyway we're going to question four next question four we've got if s equals 2 plus i find the value of s squared minus s conjugate of s divided by s so in this question as you can see it it says you must clearly show each step of your working so what I'm going to do is the first step I'm going to do is I'm going to work out what s squared is so for s squared I have 2 plus i squared so then I have 2 plus i times 2 plus i so that is equal to 4 plus 2i plus 2i plus i squared i squared is equal to negative 1 so that's what I'm going to end up with s squared equals 3 plus 4i conjugate of s is 2 minus i and so what I have is s squared minus conjugate of s divided by s so I'm going to do this one first conjugate of s divided by s so conjugate of s is 2 minus i and s is 2 plus i so I need to rationalize the denominator folks so I'm going to multiply it by 2 minus i and 2 minus i which means in the numerator I get 4 minus 2i minus 2i plus i squared and in the denominator I have 2 squared minus i squared so what I end up with is 4 minus 4i i squared is equal to minus 1 and here I got 4 negative negative 1 so my final working out is going to be 3 minus 4i divided by 5 so now putting it all together I have s squared minus conjugate of s divided by s so s squared is 3 plus 4i minus 3 minus 4i divided by 5 so what I'm going to do is with 3 plus 4i I'm going to going to have a common denominator of 5 so I'm going to multiply the numerator by 5 and the denominator by 5 so I end up with 15 plus 20i divided by 5 minus 3 minus 4i divided by 5 and I kid you not I've had student that actually wrote 12 minus 16 I as the final answer for this and yeah it's not correct why because they forgot the brackets okay so you got to put a bracket around here where is it 
right here. You gotta make sure you put a bracket around here because when we do this, we're gonna get 15 plus 20i minus 3 minus 4i, and the whole thing is over 5, which means we've got 15 plus 20i minus 3 plus 4i divided by 5. And that, no, I'm running out of space, is going to be 12 plus 24i over 5. So if you want to simplify this, you're going to get 2.4 plus 4.8i. And that is our final answer. Now, this was a merit question, guys, uh, from 2016, I believe. Yeah, I've just modified it a little bit there. Okay, so that's basically it for review of week two. Thank you for watching. See you guys next week.